Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Butterfly Spirit 314 So today guys, what I want to do is I want to talk about something a bit personal um, that I decided that I want to share just in case you guys are uh, experiencing the same thing that I am and maybe this may help you. So um, to give you guys a little bit of background on me, I have a relationship with someone in my life and I want to improve that relationship. And so one day when I was at a library, they were giving away these free books. And I happened to come across this book. It's called How One of You Can Bring Two of You Together. Um, and it's by Susan Page. And so um, I just started reading this book and really getting into um, understanding how I can improve the relationship myself by changing, you know, how I think about the relationship, you know, understanding the things that I'm doing and how I'm contributing to conflict and really learning how to evolve past that. So in my relationship, I've tried, um, I have tried to do things like going to, um, going to premarital counseling, um, I've tried, you know, prologue, um, try sorting through things, you know, like different types of things. Um, couples counseling was kind of out due to COVID and everything like that. And so, um, I just now came across this book. It's called how one of you can bring two of you together. Um, and I'll basically open this book up for you guys to see. Um, so let's see. So as you can see, I got it from a library for free. Um, so I open it up here. Um, so this is some of the stuff in here and things. So, um, so if you see any underline, this is where like I've kind of underlined, uh, certain things or whatever here. Um, so, so far I am at, um, let's see, let's see. Okay. Let me see. I'm at page, let me turn the page here. Um, okay. Oh, here we go. So, so far I've read to uh, page 16 here. So what I'm currently reading, it says, taking care of the relationship has always fallen on women one more time. Um, aren't women the ones who will end up doing all the work. So um, this is basically, so in this particular section, I'm not really going to read it. You guys will have to buy this book yourselves to like kind of go through it. But um, basically in this particular book, how one of you can bring two of you together by Susan Page. Um, in this book, this book is about one person in a relationship working on the relationship to improve it. Okay. So yes, this book is about, you know, if you're in a relationship, this is about you doing the work. This is not about two people in the relationship doing work, right? Like if you go to couples counseling or marriage counseling, whatever, it's not about that. It's about how one person can do the work. Okay. And in reading this book so far, even though I've gotten to page 16, I've started to take some notes on it starting last night. And, you know, I really like this book because I like the fact that it's going to allow me to work on myself and, you know, it's going to allow me to think about my relationship and think about think about things and why it's beneficial to work on the relationship by myself. Because, you know, if you work on like if you're in a relationship with someone, if you start to work on things in the relationship to improve it, then that can have an effect on that person. OK, so the most important thing is, you know, going ahead and learning, you know, learning how to, you know, make those improvements, you know, and most of us know, you know, what in our relationship we tend to have um we tend to have hangups about, we tend to have arguments or disagreements about. Okay. So for me, you know, I know that I've contributed to, to arguments 
in my relationship and I understand that I've contributed. And recently what I started doing is, is I started writing down actual things that I was doing wrong. And, you know, I've actually gone as far as to, you know, set intentions, you know, kind of write down things and kind of do affirmations to myself to kind of, you know, try to work on fixing those things. And the good thing is, is that, you know, I have been um, turned towards this book and, um, you know, it really has a lot of value for those of you. If you're going through like relationship problems and stuff like that, very good. And it, it's really good for, you know, helping you to learn, learn to tr um, learn to implement strategies in your relationship by you doing the work in the relationship so that you can improve it. Because there's two people in a relationship, but if one person changes their their attitudes and they change the way they move and the things that they do, right, then that can really change the relationship for the better. And that is one of the most important things that I'm learning. And I love reading this book and stuff like that. I may only be on page um, 16 right now, but, you know, it really takes into account, you know, issues and problems that happen in a relationship and stuff. Some of these things are things that happen, you know, in my relationship. And, you know, I wish I would have found this book sooner. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to, you know, be accountable for the things that I have done. You know, I think through things I've said, I think through, you know, situations and circumstances and stuff like that. And I'm learning how to be more accepting of you know, of the person that I'm in a relationship with. And I want you to know that we have relationships with a lot of people in our lives. We have relationships with, you know, our parents, our siblings, cousins, aunts, uncles, friends, coworkers, different people in our lives. We have relationships with a lot of people. You know, if we talk to someone, we have a relationship with them. It's not just about a romantic relationship. It is about, you know, we have relationships with a lot of a lot of individuals, we have a relationship with nature and everything else. So, you know, I just want to tell you guys that, you know, I'm starting to, you know, learn about my relationship and I'm starting to understand, you know, understand things from a different view, a different lens of things, you know. And this is also, you know, I also hope to get to the end of this book. So this book goes to... Um, hang on. This book, uh, it goes all the way up to page uh, 290. So I hope to, you know, in three months or so, I hope to be finished with the book. Maybe I'm being a little optimistic. But, you know, I just want to tell you guys, if you yourself are finding that you're having relationship problems, and this isn't just relationship problems in terms of like if you're in a romantic relationship, this is also about if you're having difficulty with other people, because this book also helps you to get closer to other people in your life as well. So one of the things that I think is important is to really, um, it's really important to learn and improving the relationship, you know, by working on it yourself is, is very important. And the beginning of this book really starts by the author explaining to you, you know, why it's important to work on a relationship by yourself and why it's important for you to do the work. And so, you know, I'm learning and everything that I'm learning that this author is saying is so spot on. And I'm just like, wow, you know, and this is this is really teaching me things about how I can be a better partner and how, you know, I can improve my relationships with other people as well. Because I realized that in my life, I realized that you know, I naturally don't trust people. And so, you know, that can really um, impact, you know, how how I come across and how people, you know, interact with me and things like that. So what I want to do is, is that I want to just make it clear and, and be understanding in the fact that, you know, you know, that I want to make improvements and stuff. And this is not something where I'm just saying, oh, it's a one time thing. No, this is something where I want to do my best to to learn how to be better as a person. And that also means that I'm learning how to, you know, how to make myself happy, how to treat myself good. You know, I'm learning how to not depend on somebody else to make me happy because, 
you know, my partner, they did that for the longest time of trying to make me happy. But now I understand that it's totally important for me to find happiness and how that starts is for me loving myself. And so I'm on the journey where I'm learning to love myself. I'm on the journey where I'm learning, you know, how to make myself happy, how to do things that bring joy to my life and stuff. And I'll be sharing some of those things with you guys so that you can kind of see what it is that I'm doing and stuff like that. So, um, and I could share some, you know, tips and things with you about how you can do that. You know what I'm saying? I know there's a lot of resources, you know, out about relationships and stuff, but I have to say this book is really, 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 really good. And, um, this really is good because this book also talks about, you know, breakthrough strategies to resolve your conflicts and reignite your love. And this love you know, we have love. We, we express love differently to different people. And yes, this book is going to go into it's going to go into the conflicts. This, you know, about relationships, like if you have a romantic relationship, this is going to go into things about like uh, about, you know, having arguments, you know, nagging in a relationship It's going to talk about, you know, a woman's side, you know, like men or women, because it's, it's written for men or women. But this book is going to talk about it's going to talk specifically about, you know, how to how to do things like how ha to have strategies to avoid things like arguments, you know, how to how to see the relationship, you know, how to really objectively look at your relationship and really uh, see it from a new view. And they really have strategies in here that are really helpful. And the things that I've read so far have been really, 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 really good uh, so far. Um so I'll just share some of the, um, some of the, the, uh, some of the, the things that I have seen here. Um, so I'm not going to really read the, um, I'm just going to read like the, the top, uh, boldy, um, things that it says. So here it says, um, let me see, get my camera to focus. It says how to work alone on a two-person relationship here. And they start off by people, you know, people's reservations about why they don't want to do the work, right? So I've read through that. Um, as you see, I've, I've underlined here too. Um, so it says here, um, so they have like questions. Like one of them is, it says, I've been working along forever already and it hasn't worked. Why should this me method be any different? So um, this is kind of talking about, like, you know, why it's important to, you know, if you've been working a long time on improving a relationship, you know, how is this going to, how is this method in this book going to be any different? So that's what that is um, uh, talking a little bit about there. Um, and it's actually going to go into... Um, it's going to go into um, problems that can be faced in a romantic relationship. So um, it says, when participants introduce themselves at the beginning of a workshop, while they mention highly individual problems, we often hear comments along these lines. We have a great relationship. There are just one or two areas that continue to be a problem. Um, and they're talk and the author's talking about this from that of a romantic relationship. Things my mate does annoys me, worry me, or upset me. I don't have enough power. I can't be myself. We've lost our spark. Uh, we fight so much. I hate all the arguing. He's too distant. I don't feel intimate anymore. She nags me too much. She wants to change me. He takes me for granted. It's too late for us. Our problems have been the same for years. I don't feel love anymore. There are too many differences between us. My needs are not getting met. I want more blank. This is not what I wanted or expected. We've grown apart. We have no common interests. We have already tried everything and nothing has worked. I don't think our problems will ever change. And this last line here about... We have already tried everything and nothing has worked. That's something that has come up in my relationship that I can say that, is, that I've heard several times and stuff like that. 
you know, and I'm just like, wow, this author is actually going into this stuff, going into the, like those tough areas. And I'm looking forward to like reading more and stuff like that. Um, so tonight when I get home, I'm going to be, you know, writing notes down and stuff like that from this book and stuff. Things like lines in the book that I thought were like extremely helpful. And what I hope to do is to to meditate on these particular things that I learn and stuff like that. And I'm really excited to finally have a resource where I can learn how to be a better partner and how to, you know, how I can contribute and how to fix those those trouble areas. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. If if you haven't already, I mean, I don't know the author of this book or anything, but this could be a helpful a book for you if you're having relationship problems. So um, how one of you can bring the two of you together uh, by Susan Page. I advise you guys to get this book and check it out. Thanks.